Hi there. This week's question is how to auto-publish live streams onto your Discord. My name is Steve. This is TQA Weekly. And as a Twitch live streamer, it is important for me to put out whenever I am streaming. And the tool I'll be talking about today is absolutely free and it makes it absolutely painless. There is a paid option, but for those just starting out, this will help you out a lot. The first thing you're going to need to do is to go over to a website called ifttt.com if this then that is basically what it stands for and you'll have to create a free account. Let's go over to desktop. Once you have your free account, you'll be presented with a page like this. The first thing you're going to want to do after this point is you're going to want to create an applet and an applet is just one of these things that you see right here. So in my case, it already does specific functions, but let's create a new one. You go to create, which is important. And the first thing you need to set up is the if this, and then you have to click add. Now we're trying to stream on Twitch. So what we do is we click add, but instead of going nuts and trying to scroll down, just start typing the name of the service and then click the one that you want. And then obviously, you're going to have a ton of options that you can actually use for every service. And in our case, it is new stream started by you. So if you're a live streamer, this is the option you want to pick. You click that. Then there's this option, then that. So the last two letters of their domain name and you click add. Now, again, you don't have to worry about anything. Their search makes it easy. Our example is discord. So we click Discord and then we want to post a message to a channel. So we click the channel and then you will select the channel at which point, of course, you're going to be connecting your accounts together. So when you see that, obviously connect to the correct account. Mine was already connected because I already did this before. In my case, I select Steve plays, which is where I stream and then obviously live stream, which is also set up as an announcement channel on Discord. And this message does come out really well. However, that I decided to make it a lot more streamlined and just do something simpler. So in my case, I've allowed it to say at everyone, which means it gives them an alert on Discord. It says I am streaming at, and it says the name of the channel, the game, the channel name, and of course the channel URL, which I switched over. All you have to do at the bottom is to click create action. Then you'll click continue. And then you see this, I think that's turned on, but you'll see right after. Ah, there, get notification. Obviously they'll always have an ad, you can go with the pro version. You don't have to if you're staying with three or under. And of course, you always have the option to archive. And when you go back to the front page, which you can usually do it this way, you see all of your options there. So I hope you learned how to use that tool. It is absolutely free. Do not forget that you're going to have to link your accounts. In my case, they were already linked and it is just that simple. So like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those you think can benefit from this and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me and ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website tqaweekly.com where you can see show notes on this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing and of course use the contact form and email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games, head over to twitch.tv slash zx1981 where I'm still playing Watch Dogs Legion for now, but will soon be playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thank you for watching and goodbye.